guys and welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial i talk about another section inside is it called formula auditing and under this formula auditing tools we have a section called trace dependent okay you can see it right up here so today we are moving into the second part of the the tracer inside of a z called trace dependent okay trace dependent has cells or group of cells that are affected by the selected source when using the formula auditing tools as it displays blue halo that link the cells that are related to the one to the active cells an active excel spreadsheet sometimes contain multiple formulas and understanding the relationship between the cells will be difficult task in the absence of all trace precedent and all trace dependent features in the reserve so let's delve into how trace dependent works trace dependence in an excel auditing tools show the cells that are affected by an active cells by displaying blue or by displaying an arrow link linking the deleted cells to the wall to the active cells when cells are located on the same worksheet it is relatively straightforward since as they will link from the related cells to the active cells using the blue arrow all right in other words if the cells are linked to another sheet instead of an arrow linking the cell there will be a dotted black arrows pointing to a small icon in the worksheet in other words the arrows can be removed by clicking or remove arrow button next to the wall trace dependent right up here okay open in front of me I have got the same formula auditing worksheet that I used in my last video tutorial, okay? With data relating to what statements of what financial position with ratio and working capital. We can find the dependent cell by first selecting the cell that we want to act uh, evaluate. The same mark the starting point from which we can identify the cells that are dependent on it okay in other words c10 here is our active cell and we can use it to find dependent cells so i'm going to click on one cell c10 so to see the cell that are dependent on the active cell c10 so you go to the formula tab okay let me you go to the formula tab right up here and formula auditing there's a section called formula auditing here then click trees dependent okay you can see it say we display blue lines that link that cell that you are analyzing to the dependent cell and in our own case c10 is a active cell and c16 and f5 are dependent cells on the wall on the cell c10 and any changes made to the world the active cell c10 will affect all the dependent cells right here okay so blue arrows shows that that cells have no errors and whereas red arrows shows the cells that cause errors too but here we don't have any errors so that's why so the formulas are all right so that's why we are having the, the blue arrows here and by clicking on well, the trace dependent button again we sh um, we show more cells that are related to the active cells okay if i click on it you can see these are more cells that are dependent to the wall to this particular active cell and if there's any other work that are related to the wall to the active cell they will be all indicated with wall the black with a black dash line and arrow head pointed to a small 
picture it's okay and like i said earlier clicking the trace dependent button more than once will show all the all the cell that are related to the to the active cell okay so let me try another one here so if i click on these cells so and click on one trace dependent you can see this arrow shows all the cells that are dependent on, on this particular cell c11 okay so let me if i click on this particular one here so we'll click on the trace you can see so definitely these total current liabilities also depend on what this cell f11 okay if i click on, if you just if i just try to manually all the cells here you'll be seeing all the cells that are all dependent on what on this one the active cell so now to remove the tracer arrows click the option next to the word the trace dependent right here you can see under the word the formula auditing uh, section right here so if i click on it you can see it remove all the word that is it it remove all the word the tracer arrows and if i want to return it back so if i will, I will click on the active cells then click on what the dependent cells you can see so it will be tracing all the cells that are dependent on the wall, on the wall active cell you can see so you can see you can see so it will be it will be linking to, sorry it will be linking to wall, all the cells that are wall, related, uh, that are dependent on the wall, on the, wall, on the active cell okay that is it trade dependent is an inbuilt formula auditing tool provided in microsoft Excel, and it helps users to analyze the relationship between the cells in a worksheet also trace dependent are used to show the cell that are affected by all by the wall active cell at this junction you can see how trace the uh, precedent and trace dependent really helpful and especially when you are dealing with what the bigger spreadsheet with more complex formula it can also help you to have that virtual representation of how formulas are being used and track down those formula this is how you can determine where a formula is picking up their values from within an excel spreadsheet or within excel workbook hope you find this video, video video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the excel function bye